Hello everyone, welcome to Tsuji This Week. I'm Duncan Dieth and thank you for joining us. The staff at Tsuji Hospital in Hualien treat a Parkinson's sufferer and join him in a birthday celebration. A care recipient with physical disabilities has been working hard at his food stand to give back to others in need. The owner of a wonton noodle stand in Malaysia is doing his part to promote vegetarianism and protect planet Earth. The Tima Northern Taiwan chapter recently held its first free medical outreach in New Taipei City's Pingxi since the Lunar New Year holiday. The medical team took four different routes to conduct home visits and to check on elderly people in the community. Let's see how things went. We are the medical team from the Tsuji Foundation. This familiar voice is heard once again in the community of Pingxi. On this day, Tima hosted its first free clinic after the Lunar New Year holiday. Many elderly people were sitting outside waiting for a health checkup. Eighty-year-old Bao Cai feels pain in her right arm again. The doctor solved her problem by providing her medical consultation and giving her a massage. <laughs> Tima members accompany this 82-year-old senior, Mrs. Guo, to see an eye doctor. One common problem we see is dry eye along with cataracts and other eye problems. After the health checkup, pharmacists also provide instruction about the usage of medication. Volunteers give seniors an immediate test just in case they may forget about usage of the medication. Pingxi is the community with the oldest average age in Taiwan. Volunteers and Tima members visit every two months to promote health education. In recent years, I think health education is very important. We have been promoting this for years, and it has helped many seniors reduce their blood pressure. We have good interaction with these seniors as it brings us closer together. Medical assistance, along with love and care from Tsuji, help safeguard the seniors' health in their later years. In Hualien, Taiwan, a Parkinson's sufferer, Yen Zhongren, turned 66 years old last month. In May last year, he underwent deep brain stimulation to treat his condition at Hualien Suji Hospital. On February 8th, the staff of the hospital and some of the patients helped him celebrate his birthday. And doctors encourage all Parkinson's patients to stay strong and never give up hope. When I discovered a problem, I noticed that when walking, part of my body wouldn't respond, and I would walk as if I was strong. While it was difficult for him to walk, leading him to only take small steps at one point, his feet would begin to shake as he suffered from Parkinson's disease for a decade. Yin Zongren turned to medication, which couldn't control the symptoms, and in May last year, he decided to undergo deep brain stimulation therapy. If the patient starts experiencing drug side effects after five years, one can consider doing surgery. Most of the time, it goes very well, and there is a marked improvement in the quality of life. Yen Zongren is happy to celebrate his 66th birthday, as his post-operative recovery is very good and he is able to undertake activities much like an average person. After the surgery, he also wants to encourage other patients with his own successful experience. After getting this disease, don't be depressed or think you can't make progress. I think this doesn't help, as you need to be brave, as I encourage all patients to come out and do more exercise. Physicians also remind everyone that Parkinson's disease is not a terminal illness. With active treatment, one can stabilize their condition and return to daily life. 
In Lujo, New Taipei City, Mrs. Chun and her son have scavenged for a living for many years, but they created a huge mess which created problems for neighbors. In the past, when the city helped them clean up, only items outside the house were cleared away. This time, Mrs. Chun allowed Suji to help clean up the inside of her home as well, since she's dealing with cancer and in need of the help. Let's see how Suji was able to help. Here in the streets of New Taipei City's Luzhou, a crowd is gathered. Is there something big happening? <laughs> Sharing their cleaning tactic of just working and no commenting on the condition, volunteers quickly get to work. The home is filled with trash from top to bottom, so much so that the floor cannot be seen. And although they are all wearing a protective mask, the stench of the place is still very pungent. In the kitchen, items clutter the gas stove, while the bathroom is covered in layers of dust and mold. Entering the bedroom, it's hard to imagine how the lady of the house can possibly get a good night's rest in there. I thought I'd save the items for later because my son says the price aren't so good lately, but then the more I saved, the more of a mess it became. The homeowner has been scavenging for 10 to 20 years now and has lived a hard life. I always see a lot of rats running around and sometimes they even climb up to the fifth floor, which is where I live. Can't bear to see the homeowner living in such squalor. The volunteers transform their sympathy into action. <laughs> the men were put in charge of moving and initial clearing out, while the female volunteers were in charge of sorting and more detailed work. It's hard to imagine recyclables to be found in such a mess, but the volunteers managed to do it. We didn't know there was so much in there. We honestly didn't know. Next, a high-pressure water cleaner was used to wash the walls, windows and floors. Afterward, the volunteers wiped down everything to finally reveal a clean environment. This drastic change of environments is an efficient day of hard work by Tsuji. Thanks to the Tsuji brothers and sisters for your assistance. I have really seen how everyone comes together to perform this excellent work. Without your communication with her, we wouldn't be able to do this. I'm really thankful for your assistance. I don't know how to express my gratitude. Thank you so much. In Taichung, Taiwan, Suji has been caring for another care recipient, Mr. Tang, who had a bad cold when he was young, which led to meningitis and caused his two legs to atrophy. Despite his condition, he works very hard to run his own eatery. Receiving care and support from Suji over the past few years, Mr. Tang now wants to repay Suji by carrying out the act of giving. Mr. Tom came in the early morning to prepare the dishes for his own eatery in the kitchen. The eatery is located on Provincial Highway 21 heading to Xinshe Township. Though there are no exquisite decorations, he is devoted to this business. At his age of 19, his two legs started to atrophy after he contracted meningitis. Ever since then, his life has become more difficult and he failed in running his own business and had to raise his child alone. I started to contact Zigi volunteers because of my poor living conditions. They visited me and cared for me each month, which makes me realize that there is still goodness and compassion in the world. Over the past few years, Tsuji has continued to care for Mr. Tan and he also strives to live a better life. Now he wants to reciprocate Tsuji's love. I will put this coin bank here, which has the words on it. When we have benevolence, we will be full of blessings. After I put some coins into it, I believe that many customers will also donate money. 
after bravely overcoming his difficulties, Mr. Tang can now feel the joy of giving. In Indonesia, Tsuji volunteers regularly visit senior homes and a children's shelter for kids with learning disabilities. Volunteers want to do what they can to bring joy to these underprivileged people. Here's more. As the weather is nice, Tsuji volunteers bring the elderly at the senior home outdoors to trim their hair and nails. The grandpas and grandmas welcome us. They are really happy to see the volunteers. On this regular visit, the volunteers have asked medical professionals to check on the seniors' health. Since many of them have long-term illnesses and some suffer from poor mental conditions. I had a stroke, but I recovered. The doctor told me to eat simple food and watch my diet. 86-year-old Sardina, who suffers from frequent nausea, has chosen to live at the senior home. I eat everything. I'm used to living here since I get enough food and sleep here. I'm deeply moved and happy. I'm grateful to the volunteers' care. Meanwhile, the students at Siji Elementary School have come to visit the kids at a shelter for children with mental or learning problems. At the occasion, they donate the money they raise to help these children pursue education and their aspirations. Tsuji volunteers in Tebing Tinggi, Indonesia held a training class for volunteer trainees. These training sessions are held each year to remind participants of their commitments and their initial aspirations. Tsuji volunteers in Tebing Tinggi hold a volunteer training class and many people from different places are enthusiastic about it. Volunteers from Kisaran, Medan and many local volunteers have signed up for this class. The purpose is to attract more people to join Tsuji so we can make the society better. This is an annual event and the purpose is to enrich one's wisdom and further understand Tsuji's missions. We are often busy with our families and jobs, so we need to enrich our minds. After coming to the training class, I've received a lot of spiritual sustenance. Some of the participants are even care recipients. Selma had a surgery to remove a tumor with Tsuji's help. After she recovered, she became devout to doing recycling. I applied to Tsuji for some help and the volunteers came to visit my family and also helped me get a surgery so I can be healthy today. Sama is delighted that she can join the rank of volunteers and helps those who need it. From Butterworth, Malaysia, 75-year-old Tan Suan Tung was very strict with his family. In the past, his daughters would never imagine inviting him to Tsuji's volunteer training. But after he went once, he asked to go again. Now he always looks forward to Tsuji events. Six members of the family in the same Tsuji uniforms attend Tsuji events eagerly. 75-year-old Tang Xuan Ten is the last person in the family to join Tsuji. But now he always looks forward to its activities. He's quite happy. Before the event takes place, he always looks forward to it. His wife, 68-year-old Li Ayo, is undergoing volunteer training and leading a fulfilling life. After my husband joined Tsuji, his temper has improved much. He will listen to advices. His second daughter, Tang Chuan Qin, invited her husband to join them so they can do good deeds together. My wife told me to join them. If you listen to your wife, you'll become rich. After one year of training, the family feels closer together and happier. Through the training courses, they have also changed their manners and are ready to go through another year of volunteer training. A wonton noodle stand in Penang, Malaysia, has been actively promoting vegetarianism. 
After contacting Suji in 2010, the stand owner began selling only vegetarian food. Over time, the cost of materials has risen, but the owner tries to keep prices the same, believing that low prices can attract more people to enjoy the taste of good vegetarian food. When the market just opened for business, the customers for this wonton noodle stand have never stopped coming, and the owner never stops cooking up to the noon hour. I've been doing this since I was 15 years old. Back then we sold meat wontons, and it was January 1st, 2010, when I started selling vegetarian wontons. The reason he switched to vegetarian wontons was because his family had a contact with Cixi, and for seven years he has been selling vegetarian wonton noodles for the equivalent of about 44 U.S. cents a plate. It was difficult selling vegetarian food in the beginning. The business was bad all year round. I had to switch ingredients many times, and now the business is better. Slowly, the business improved. Then his son started using noodles from Jinsu Books and Cafe in 2015. These noodles were made with organic materials. They are like spaghetti noodles, so they are thicker. And when we started using them, Customer often reflected that the noodles were too slippery for them, but right now I can cook them to the same degree as the wonton noodles. As long as you don't compare it to the taste of meat, you will notice vegetarian food is very tasty too. In fact, vegetarian food can taste better than meat. To attract more young people to accept vegetarian food, the stand even invented this vegetarian package. Many young people don't like vegetarian food because they feel vegetarian food isn't so tasty. So we invented this package. We hope young people or housewives will find it convenient. They can simply cut open the package and fry them. Then they can eat a vegetarian meal at home. Protecting the environment isn't just about cleaning up garbage. Eating vegetarian food is equally important. It is to cleanse our heart, and cleansing our heart is also protecting the environment. Yi Sui San turns his concern towards the environment and life into love and melt it into his vegetarian meals and hopes to influence more people to enjoy vegetarian meals. Also in Malaysia, Tsuji's Johor Bahru branch held a Lunar New Year celebration at Austin Heights Private and International School. Community residents, government officials, and counselors were all in attendance. Many who only know of Tsuji from disaster relief operations were able to learn more about the foundation thanks to the event. Most government officials who came to the Lunar New Year celebration the first time first knew about Tsuji as scenes of disasters. They are very curious about everything, so they take photos with their cell phones. These candles don't cause any danger, so I feel it's a very smart invention, and also a very environmentally friendly invention. It really opened my eyes. The story behind the bamboo coin bank is to encourage people doing good deeds every day. This also impresses them deeply. Donating $30 a month and donating a dollar a day is quite different because if you donate a dollar a day, you have compassion every day. Many government officials and counselors came to attend the Lunar New Year celebration held by Tsuji Johor Bahru branch. This told them more about Tsuji and also reminded them of Tsuji's help in previous disasters. A mother told me that she once asked an official from the welfare department to give her milk powder for her baby. The official told her to wait, but when a Tsuji volunteer heard it, she bought it for her at once. She said no babies should wait for milk powder. The attendees praised and supported Tsuji, and together everyone prayed for world peace. How do you take time from your busy work schedule to recharge? Have you considered visiting a local Jingsa Books and Cafe? In Penang, Malaysia, one Jingsa Books and Cafe recently held an evening study group to help attendees relax and recharge while studying Master Zheng Yan's teachings. They truly understand Master Zheng Yan's wisdom and teaching through the study group. They also learn the meaning of gratitude, respect, and love and apply them in their daily life. 
Everyone will feel tired from time to time. When you are tired, you can pick up any of the Master's books to read, and it will recharge your spiritual need. Dr. Li Hechin tells everyone how the Buddha's teachings have changed her life. When I tell others of my mistakes, I know I must correct them, and other people can learn something from my mistakes. This is how I guide the study group. Dr. Li always explains the Buddha's teachings in simple ways, so it is easy to understand. She is also very generous in telling us everything she has experienced in her life. No one is perfect and everyone makes mistakes. That's why we must learn to be tolerant and grateful of each other. A study group is a platform for learning from each other. So when we run into conflicts with other people, it can help us find a solution. Next, we'll take a look at recycling in Taiwan and hear about future possibilities for improving recycling. Currently, Da Ai Technology is preparing for a conference with businessmen from various industries in Taiwan to discuss issues of recycling and environmental sustainability. There might be some economic resources in this pile of garbage, but they will probably not be recovered. On a global average, 80% of products are single-use and are simply thrown away after use. Further, 30% of the food globally will never be consumed, and only half of that will be used for compost. Currently, one of the largest problems facing the world is how to extend the usefulness and recyclability of products made across the globe. There is a great benefit in recycling and reducing waste. Taiwan is very strict about sorting recyclables. According to the national government, Taiwan has been rated as incredibly successful in regards to promoting recycling. Since 2011, the garbage reclamation rate of Taiwan has been maintained at over 50 percent. Additionally, the concept of the producer's extended responsibility has been introduced, which encourages companies to make their products in a manner which allows them to be easily recycled. After the climate summit in Paris ended, we asked how can we continue to reduce carbon emissions to a sustainable level? How can we get industries to go green and start a global trend? Items like this would be able to go through a single round of recovery. We want to make it possible for the product to go through too. So right now, items like our environmentally friendly blankets, they can go through the recovery process twice. My suit, my shirt, my tie. Everything is from recycled plastic bottles. It's just me that hasn't been recycled. With informational lectures and meetings, representatives of Da'ai technology and large industries are discussing ways and methods of improving recycling capabilities. Hopefully with cooperation and innovation, a truly sustainable future for society will be on the horizon. Tsuji volunteers from Singapore recently visited Cambodia to host their first training session in 2017 for future volunteers. They shared their experience and their advice with participants at the event. We'll leave you with some images from the training session. Thanks for joining us and goodbye.